So, how is everyone? I hope you're all well. So, it's obviously been going nuts over the last few hours. Well, to be fair, it's been going nuts pretty much ever since the Dateline hatchet job came out. And we're going to touch on that in a second. But look, yeah, so there's been a lot happen. For those of you who are not aware, I don't know why there would be anyone who isn't aware, but Brian Koberger would choose to stand silent instead of entering a plea and a not guilty plea was entered in for him by the courts. Now, I've seen many, many people read into this in different ways as I kind of concluded would happen in my video yesterday, which was just really a brief recap on what had happened. I knew that the dust needed to settle to see what was truly going to be said and how it was going to be taken, but most people stayed true to form, and the people who are dead set on Brian Koberger being the guy, he's just the guy who did it, they have stayed steadfast in that and used this to leverage that ideology, whereas some people who believe in sort of the system and hoping that the system works they are kind of saying quite rightfully that it was kind of a really really wise move to do what he did because ultimately his life is well and truly on the line here unless something changes his life is on the line and this is what i say to it i say to it like this because the judge has just issued a warning and that warning has gone primarily out, or I could turn around and say exclusively out, really, to media. And I know exactly who he's pointing the finger at. He is pointing the finger at people such as News Nation, and he is pointing his finger most likely at this recent Dateline situation. And he is talking about the fact that this guy, this guy who is being tried for his life, has the right to a fair trial. And when you have media outlets such as News Nation with the following that they have, and I've touched on this before, and they're pushing the stuff that they're pushing and twisting it as if it is fact, and then it goes down this snowball effect where you then have every single media outlet rehashing it as fact. So Brian Koberger did now break into this female's house and install cameras and stalk her. If you look at all the media outlets and what they're putting as their massive headlines, that is now fact. And what people have got to understand, and what many of you will understand because you do it yourselves, is that if a video is a certain length, whether that be 5 minutes, whether that be 10 minutes, whether it be 20 minutes, you are not sitting there, and don't get me wrong, there are objections to that rule, but the vast majority of people are not sitting there from the start of a video until the end. They look at a title to see whether it's something they want to watch, and then they start to watch it. If it gets a little bit, you know, a little bit boring, a little bit repetitive, then they will jump out of the video. And the downside in all that is that there's a massive chance that they will miss something. Like in this recent News Nation video where they state that Brian Koberger had gone into someone's house and he had installed cameras and stalked them. Many people will have missed the fact that an ex-CIA agent then comes on and then turns around and says, this is not a fact. We, this has not been proven. This is just something that we can speculate may, or, may have happened. And then you look in the comments, as I said the other day, and you just see people are running with it. Oh, the, the, that explains it all. Now I was on the fence, now I'm 100%. And this is the power of media. This is the power of what it does. And how is this how, how is this guy going to get a fair trial? Please explain to me how this guy is going to get a fair trial. Even if someone turns around and tries to advocate for fairness, you get accused and vilified and, and asked whether you're a Koberger fanboy. Oh, do you love Brian Koberger? Is this a I love Koberger channel? No, it's not. It's a I want the fucking system to work properly. I want there to be fairness and I want 
people such as News Nation to be called out when they put something out there and they push it and package it as if it's fact and it's not. This Dateline shite that they put out with the multiple statements made in there with no credible sources. It just, we have a source. Someone told us. This is what we've found out. Where the fuck have you found out anything? And half of the shit that they said didn't make any sense or you could prove yourself was shite just by doing your own homework. Anyway, ran over. So we have the October court date. I believe off the top of my head it's the second. And there has been some new documentation filed in the court docs as well. So Brian Koberger and his counsel are asking for everything, absolutely everything to do with the grand jury. We can have a quick look here. This is the um, the documentation. So what have we got? Let me just go through here for you. Go up to the top. So motion to make available the record of all proceedings of the grand jury pursuant to ICR 6.2. And it is everything. I won't read through the entire doc. I will just scrub through it for you. And then if you want to read this and you don't know how to access it, this will allow you to pause the video, read the bits that you want to read, and um, ignore the bits that you don't want to. But let me just say that this entire dot, they are going for everything. They want to know absolutely everything. Um, and I don't blame them. I absolutely, I absolutely don't blame them. Now, with regards of Brian Koberger standing silent... You know, the sexy beast that is lawyer, you know, he, you know, he done a good video on it yesterday. And I'd say to anybody, head over there if you want to, you know, if you want to find out a lawyer's take on it. I personally do feel that, look, that was the most wisest decision for him to do. Anything that guy could have said, anything that he would have done in that court, whether it, every single thing, the guy... Even I found myself, the whole duration of that, staring at him and seeing whether he did anything that you could look at and think, do you know what, that looked a bit dodgy there. And if I'm brutally honest, I'd look at him and I know, and people are going to jump all over this, and I know that some people, there's not a sign, there's not something that says this guy's a killer, this guy's not. But I look at the guy and I just think, I can't get my head round this guy doing this crime in this manner I, 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 he just comes across as a bit of a as a bit of a geek a bit of a he seems like the sort of person who could get fucking duped into being a driver for something and this turns into a complete and utter clusterfuck that he finds himself in now and the sort of person who might be afraid of saying something to someone because of repercussions of doing so. So he then feels that he's he's snookered then. Do you know what I mean? How do I get out of it? I was there. They've got fucking proof I was there. Now I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. Because I've either got a dob in who did it and put potentially my family at risk or whatever. And I'm still going to be stuck in the same position because I was there. I was part of it, which... I know in the US it's pretty much the same thing. If you're a driver and the people in your car went and massacred people, you might as well have been the people who massacred them. So what can he do? The best thing he can do is use his knowledge to try and, I don't know, get out on a technicality. Maybe he's forcing for a mistrial. But the warning is, and I will say this, this isn't about advocating for Brian Koberg. This is about being an advocate for the system and making sure the system works. And for the, the people who continuously get forgotten in amongst this, which is indeed the victims, and that fucking judge couldn't even have the decency of getting their names right. Zana Canodal. Ethan Chapin. Kaylee Gonsalves. And Madison Mogan. How fucking hard is it that someone in 5,000 fucking miles away can get the name right? And the judge who is going to be presiding over this case 
cannot even get their names right. Cannot even pronounce something as simple as Kaylee. This is this this is the this the system is on trial. That is what's on trial here. The system is on trial. Brian Koberger is not on trial here. Because whatever the outcome of this, there's going to be people who just don't fucking understand what went wrong. People, if he gets found guilty, people aren't going to believe it. If he gets found innocent, people aren't going to believe it. This is about the, the system and the way it operates being on trial. And we are seeing countless reasons that from the outside looking in, they don't look right. It looks fishy. Cloak and dagger meetings, things being hidden, mentions of exculpatory evidence. Then all of a sudden we've got a grand jury. Then you've got people looking to see what, the, what how this whole thing came about. Seemingly saying, look, give me, give, oh, we want to see everything. The situation where he does stand silent. And he stands silent for what reason? You can read into that. And if I was in a position where I thought, I'm getting fucked here, I didn't do the actual crime, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but I'm in a situation where I'm pretty sure that I could get shot because of it, I'd keep my fucking mouth shut. I don't know about you, but all of these channels, like like I say, like News Nation, all these people pushing it, and all of the people jumping on the bandwagon that this guy is 100% guilty already, and you're basing that notion on the shit that you're hearing on these things like Dateline and News Nation. So you need your fucking head read. Honestly, the guy might be guilty. He may. He may indeed be guilty. But I am yet to see any evidence shown via the court documentations and what we have heard from official sources that gives me the the thought that Brian Koberger did this crime on his own. On his own. He solely went to this place on his own and massacred these four victims. I haven't seen it. And when I listen to all of the shit that's being used in order to push the fact he did it, and I can tell that that's shit. <laughs> I'm done. I'll catch you all in the next one.